a marketing rebel, marketing rebel. Hey, so when I went through bankruptcy back in the day, I started dabbling in online marketing, trying to figure it all out. I didn't have any money to my name, but my good friend Mark had this idea to launch a book. He said I had the connections to put it together and gave the model for it. It was the first book that I wrote and I didn't even write it on my own. So we interviewed and curated content from seven different experts leveraging my network. I started having conversations with people about putting together a book and if they'd like to get involved. And I gave the cost and explained what we were doing. We got the entire book paid for and published it pretty quickly. We even launched it up to the number one bestseller, which was pretty cool. And when we did the pre-launch of the book, I created a relationship with a web guy who gave me some tips on how to generate revenue on a pre-launch of, of a book. And I didn't know what to do, but I learned the steps to follow through and, and, and I put together the sales page for people to buy this book on a pre-launch and I had different packages and everything else that they could do and I ended up selling it for about $1,500 or something about $1,500. So it was the moment that I believed that online marketing was a real legit thing and that I could do it. And at the time, I didn't realize it was marketing. I thought it was just having conversations on the phone. That was tough for me as an introvert since talking to people on the phone and leveraging network is not really in my comfort zone. I kind of just do things on my own. But it was the moment that I realized I could do work like this from my home or really anywhere else. And for about 14 months, my wife and I put everything into storage and traveled around the country. I was building my entire business from a phone and a computer. My momentum started by recognizing the need for money and finding a way to sell. So marketing and selling go hand in hand. This is a lesson, but people don't often like to sell or want to do the hard work of selling. So you can create momentum in your sales and generate the revenue that you want through joining online groups, finding people, it, finding people you want to do business with and interacting with them. So if you focus on that interaction, it's going to create momentum for you. But don't go into it with the idea that you want to sell something. Instead, focus on how you want to provide value and the sale will come. So when you gain the momentum of selling, selling, sales comes easy to you. It's easy to get into a slump and stop selling because you don't want to deal with it. Maybe you've heard no too many times, so you just quit, right? But you have to get back into the momentum of selling. So marketing makes sales easier, and if you don't have any marketing processes in place, you have to be selling anyways. So at the end of the day, you need momentum to generate sales, and without sales, you don't have a business. So it's all about how you maintain the momentum to keep moving forward. So a lot of people tend to focus on racking up some big sales numbers, thinking that the rest will happen on their own. While that can happen, it will immediately vanish if you step back and relax a little. You need to maintain that momentum. So stick to your data, routine activities, making the calls, receiving, re receiving calls, and interacting with potential leads day in and day out. There's a reason why people often look the other way when they're presented with an opportunity to create a career in sales, it is quite tough, right? So beyond that tough regimen, the numerous calls and the long hours, you get rewards that are simply unparalleled by any other field in existence. But think about it. The entire world operates through sales. If there are sales, companies will continue to run. If there aren't, every business will come crashing down. So to ensure there are sales, you have marketing that backs you up. They're interconnected, you have to have both. But if you're struggling to sell, stop looking at the big sales. Instead, focus on smaller ones. Sell someone by setting up a meeting or having a conversation. That's a win. You have to be willing to weather the storm and find success in the small wins, or you're just gonna quit. In addition, is to avoid focusing on the sale. If you focus on the sale, you start to become worried about it. And when you're worried about it, you slowly become desperate to make that sale. And when you're desperate, people are gonna know. So, you'll lose the confidence you need to successfully make a sale and create momentum. In the same vein, struggling to make a sale can be focused on how you're trying to give value. Go in with the attitude that you're helping your client. Hey, look, man, I see that you're doing this in your business. I think this is something that you could do that would be beneficial for you. And tell them how to do it. Just help them. It will generate more leads and sales for you. So taking the focus off of you and putting it on them makes a world of difference when it comes to the sales process. Hey, if you gain value from this, video and momentum for your business, do me a favor, like, comment, share, help us spread the word. Thank you.